Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna kinda look over some of the stuff that needs to be done with the K-member of the car, and then also the K-member mounting in the car, uh, and get a little bit of the work done. I got the K-member actually out already and sitting in the garage, so let's check it out and see what all's going on. So one of the things I need to fix is, obviously I need to cut off these little bit of overhangs here, where I repositioned the K-member originally, and then um, I have to finish off this plate here, so basically I just need to do like like trim this off and do like an upright piece uh, to fix that up. And then I'm gonna go back through and clean up some of these welds because uh, this is, was one of the first things I did. So the welds didn't really turn out too bad. It was when I first started using that welder that I have and I've kind of got it dialed in more now. So we're gonna fix some of that. And then I also need to cut this plate off here, which eventually I really need to do like an upright piece here but I need to move this up because when I put it on, I put it on the underside of the K-member. So basically the problem that that's causing is that when I try to drop the K-member completely out, like straight down, I can't do it. I have to slide it forward then down. So I definitely don't want that. So we're gonna cut that off uh, at some point and then re-weld it up here and then add an upright for extra support. Cut this piece off here and clean it up and then hopefully finish up that piece there. So just a few little things. Let's get into the garage. I got that cleaned up enough to work in there and see what we have to get done on the K-member. Okay, so if we check out the K-member, uh, we can see where I put those square tubing pieces on for the sway bar mount. So basically I need to make little end caps for this to secure it the rest of the way to here because it's just too big of a gap to fill in. I mean, you probably could, but I don't want to do it like that. So. The other thing I need to do is finish off my control arms, which eventually I want to redo these. And instead of being a triangle shape or an A more or less, I'd like to actually make it curve around and then come up. So have this piece still come straight out, but then have this kind of curve around. So these will be good for now. They don't cause any problems as far as steering goes, but it would just be nicer to have it like that. Um, and then obviously these are just the ends of a Grand Prix control arm cut off and welded on here. So I'm gonna have to clean up this area here and cap it off. And then I'm going to clean all this off and just kind of hit these areas a little bit more just to make it a little bit more solid. I, I mean, it's it's pretty decent, but we obviously don't want to have breakage issues, especially on something like that. So, And then this piece here, I thought about cutting it off. I might still do it, but that was a plate that I originally welded on. It used to stick out back to here and uh, was something I was originally going to use. But once I relocated the K-member, uh, I didn't need that anymore. So I just cut it off right there. So... And like I said, those plates that we saw earlier, they, they go on like this. They need to go on like this. So I might have to cut that off just to be able to make that happen. So basically just go around, grind the weld, and then that should come right off. So it's going to be kind of a little bit of a project. Um, you know, I don't know if we're all going to do this in one take on this video, but we're at least going to try to get these things done and get the sway bar mounted because I also need to come up with sway bar end links to attach that to. So... And then the other thing is, this was all dented in from the original uh, oil pan that I was going to use, which was going to be an aluminum truck pan that was cut and re-welded. And I had to do that to get that extra little bit of clearance that I needed. Well, obviously didn't end up doing that. Used the JEG steel pan. So, kind of looks ugly, but it's not going to hurt anything. It'll be alright. So, let's go ahead and get the steering rack pulled off. And then we will clean all this up and start getting those finished up. I got the first couple welds put on there. Didn't turn out too hateful. Definitely a lot better than uh, what this side one had originally been. So that was my first weld. I didn't have the welder completely dialed in, but once I got over to this side, it seemed like it did pretty well. So now all I need to do is get this thing flipped over, and then we need to figure out what we're gonna do about this gap on the back sides here. So let's go ahead and cut out some plates, or I might even just cut a slit in this and then just hammer it down and get it to go against the K-member there. So let me look at it for a second, see what I can get figured out, and then we'll get that fixed up. That was simple enough. I just took my piece or my sheet of steel there, and just cut these little triangles out. So we'll just weld these onto here to cap those off. I went ahead and ground these back just a little bit to clean it up. 
So we'll weld them on and then we'll grind the edges to make it look a little bit nicer. So now that I've got those welded up, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes through for my sway bar to mount to because I don't have any more big cutoff discs to cut out the metal I need to do the end caps here. But whenever I do go to do that, it's basically just gonna be a piece of metal welded on here with a hole drilled through it and then a nut welded to the other side so that way plates on the car can actually come down and connect to that. And then that'll keep it from flexing this way or whatever. So let's go ahead and drill those in get the sway bar mounted and then that'll be about all I can do today but that'll at least have the sway bar mounts put on the subframe and ready to go. And there we have it. It's officially at least got a sway bar mounted. So that worked out pretty great. Um, the one bolt hole on the other side, I think it's I think it's this one, is a little bit misaligned. So it's not perfectly straight from this hole to the other. The other one's turned out pretty good, but when you're drilling it by hand, you'll have that. But it shouldn't really affect the holding power of it any. So, and if anything, I can just wall her out the other side a little bit and then I'm gonna put washers on them anyways. I just don't have the washers on there right now because um, they're only on this side because these bolts are just a hair too short. So anyways, the only other thing I need to do is get the sway bar end links made. And then, like I said, we'll have to put those caps on the end there. So that's about all I'm gonna to do today because man, it is hot as all get out out here. So I think that's a good stopping point. At least we got the things, you know, the mounting points secured and then we have the sway bar actually mounted. So the uh, actual little mounting brackets for the bushings have a little bit of a uh, kind of an oval shaped hole so they can move back and forth a little bit for a little bit of extra adjustment. But where I have it right now is kind of where we had set it in the last video. So in theory, it should all still clear my uh, spindles and the tie rods and everything like that. So it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna get some more big cutoff discs to cut out the pieces for the ends of those. And then um, I just need to get some nuts and bolts to put them on there and then we'll be able to get back in the car once I do a little bit more to these control arms and whatnot. And then uh, obviously, like I said, we have to do a little bit of modifications to the stuff on the car. But anyways, we'll get into all that. So like I always say, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.